We're going to continue talking about gases. In this case, we're going to talk about the partial pressure of gases. And we're going to be using Dalton's law in order to understand how to work with that. So what do we mean by partial pressure of gases? Well, let's say that we have a mixture of gases. Air is a really good example. And let's take dry air because normally air has some water vapor in there that has different amounts depending upon the humidity in the air. So let's just assume dry air. And the three most important constituents of dry air are nitrogen, oxygen, and argon. Carbon dioxide is actually number four below argon. So let's just take those three and let's assume those are the only three components of the air. What does Dalton's law tell us about the partial pressure? Well, Dalton said that the total pressure of a mixture of gases, meaning the total pressure of the air, is equal to the sum of the pressure exerted by each individual gas. So if we take the pressure exerted by nitrogen, the pressure exerted by oxygen, and the pressure exerted by argon, and add them up like this, we should get the total pressure of the gas. Now, what do we mean by the pressure of each of those three components? Well, he goes on to say, if it was the only gas present. So let's say we remove all the other gases and had only nitrogen there and we measure the pressure of that. Then we take nitrogen away, put the oxygen in there, the same amount that you would have, of course, if all of them were there and you measure the pressure and then you take, get rid of those two, put the argon there as the only gas present in the amount that it would be if you had all three of them present and you measure the pressure, you add all three up, you get the total pressure. So it's really a an algebraic sum of the pressures of each individual gas. Now, how do we utilize that in order to actually calculate the individual pressure or the partial pressures, we call it, of each gas in a mixture? How do we calculate that? Well, we're going to use the equation PV equals NRT. It sounds like, you know, it seems like we always use this equation, but hey, it's a good equation. Let's divide both sides by V, so we get the pressure is equal to NRT divided by V. Now notice, in a situation like this, where the container is fixed, it has a certain amount of volume, and the container is at a certain temperature, and we put a certain number of, let's see here, we have, oh no, we'll just leave it at that. So we have volume and temperature, and of course R is a constant, we can write this as N times RT over V, which means that the pressure caused by each component of the gas is simply equal to how many moles of the gas we have present times RT over V. And of course, RT over V would be the same for all three gases because the volume of the container doesn't change and we keep everything at the same temperature. So that means that the partial pressure really is proportional to the number of moles, how much of the gas we have there. So if we consider that, we can then say that the total pressure in the gas is equal to the number of moles we have of nitrogen times RT over V plus the number moles of oxygen we have times RT over V plus the number of moles of argon gas we have times RT over V. So this is the very same equation but instead of writing pressure for each gas we simply write the equivalent using the PV equals, equals NRT equation. So we can now factor out the RT over V so simply we can say that the total pressure in a gas made up of a number of gases or a mixture of gases is equal to the number of moles of each gas. Oop, I see N but I write H, that's no good. So N2 plus the number of moles of oxygen plus the number of moles of argon. The whole thing multiplied times RT over V. Now, if I now divide, um, now what I'll do next is if I now take this equation and divide it into the partial pressure of any one of those gases. Let's say I want to calculate the partial pressure of nitrogen in the air. I can then say the ratio of the pressure of nitrogen divided by the total pressure. And this ratio really means the partial pressure, the portion of the total pressure that belongs or that is caused by the nitrogen gas. And so this would then be equal to the number of moles of the nitrogen gas divided by the number of moles of the nitrogen gas plus the number of moles of the oxygen gas plus the number of moles of the argon gas all multiplied times. Now here you see that we have RT over V in the numerator and RT over V in the denominator because 
The partial pressure of nitrogen gas is the number of moles times RT over V, and the total pressure is the sum of all the number of moles times RT over V. This cancels out, and now you can simply see that to calculate the partial pressure of any gas in a mixture, all you have to do is figure out how many moles of that particular gas you have and divide it by the total number of moles in all of the gas, and that gives you the ratio or the partial pressure of the gas you're looking for. And that's as simple as it gets.